These houses are amazing. Shouldn't they have built these in New Orleans? Confused. I am uh, so excited to be here and so excited to be a part of this. Um, I am such a charitable person. I constantly am giving and, you know, completely anonymously. And uh, my skin is so thin, you know. I just, my heart, I see these care commercials on television with the, the kids with the, the big bellies and the flies buzzing around their heads and uh, these are one and two year old babies, you know, nine months pregnant and it <laughs> breaks my heart. Thank you. And I don't give money because I don't want them to spend it on drugs. <laughs> but, but I give, you know, in my way I give. I sent this past summer 15 really fun cowl neck sweaters to this village in Africa <laughs> in just really fun colors and uh, expecting nothing, by the way. They sent me... Here I go. Uh, they sent me a postcard thanking me. And it said, thank you. And that there were enough sweaters for every member of the village to get one. And that they were delicious. <laughs> That's why I do that. Um, I am on the, uh, I take birth control pills because I do a lot of fucking. <laughs> and, uh, no. <laughs> Thank you. No, I take it to regulate my menstrual cycle and because I do a lot of fucking. But it's so, uh, it's so hormony, you know? Like, I want some other kind of birth control, some other kind of contraception. So I'm always asking my friends what they use. Hey, bud. Like, I always ask, uh, like, I asked my friend Charlie what he and his wife use for birth control. And he said they, um, oh, he just comes on her face. <laughs> so... We're going to try that. And... I don't want to have a baby. I think I just, I don't want like natural childbirth. I, I don't know what the technical word is, but like, or like vagina babies, I think it is. <laughs> I just, um, my genes are, are poisoned and I know that for a fact. My sister Laura is kind of like the, uh, the, the family historian, you know, and she found out, we're Russian and Polish, you know, Jews. She found out that the village that our great-great-great-grandmother came from in Russia was raped and pillaged by, and I don't even know what pillaged means, but definitely raped by <laughs> Mongolians. By Mong so I'm, I am part Mongolian rapist. <laughs> and I will be totally honest with you, I love it. I just feel like it gives me street cred or something. Like, it's so... And I also feel like even back then, even while my, my great-great-great-grandmother was being raped, even then, I think she knew, you know, this is... It's going to be funny someday. <laughs> I... Yes. Not no. Yes. I'm going to adopt. I do. I'm crazy about kids, and I'm definitely going to adopt. I'm definitely going to adopt from China. Uh, definitely a boy uh, from China because, I don't know, I heard, like, somebody, I don't know, somebody told me the girls there are, like, useless or something. <laughs> you know what I love off the subject? I love how Palestinians and Jews hate each other. It tickles me, because honestly, what's the difference? They're brown and pushy. <laughs> Pasternak. It's like uh, sweet potatoes hating yams. <laughs> I guess it's like animal instinct or something, I don't know. Like birds eat eggs, that's weird, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't blame them, because eggs are awesome, but... 
They must be like, oh my God, I can't believe this came out of my pussy. <laughs> so good. Let's wrap this up. My point is that Whether you're black or white or Asian, we're all the same. But, well, but just those three. We're all the same. I'm not racist. I don't care if you think I'm racist, as long as you think I'm a, I'm a thin racist. Thank you. I went out with a Mexican guy. I don't think racist people go out with Mexican guys. <laughs> no, they're filthy. But I just want to say, and I'm wrapping it up, it's just stupid jokes. And, uh, you know, this woman came up to me after the show and she was so angry and she was Mexican and I had done that, like, Mexicans are filthy joke. And I think I, I, think I said something about, like, blowing a Mexican and having diarrhea for a week or something. I don't know. I don't remember, but... She was... She was so angry and... Thank you. She was like, uh, um, I'm Mexican and guess what? Uh, I don't stink. And it just, it broke my heart. Like, I had to explain to her that, like, you know, you can't smell yourself. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'm taking this.